good day. My name is Madivana Lezualo, Listed Property Investment Analyst at Momentum Investments. The listed property sector saw further weakness in the third quarter of 2022, with the OLP benchmark detracting by 4.07%, underperforming equities, bonds, and cash during this period. This was mainly driven by global macroeconomic headwinds as the global risk off sentiment continued, with inflation rates remaining higher for longer in most parts of the globe, leading to a further interest rate hike by small central banks. The US dollar continues to be seen as a safe haven, having strengthened against most currencies during this period, while the pound tumbled to its lowest level against the dollar towards the end of the quarter as the UK government introduced a radical tax cut package, which was later reversed. In line with global trends of tighter monetary policy, the South African Reserve Bank raised interest rates by a further 75 basis points in September 2022, adding a total of 275 basis points to the repo rate since November 2021. The third quarter of 2022 was also a reporting period for some of the listed property companies with results broadly in line with market expectations. The industrial property portfolios across some of the listed property companies continued to show record low vacancies with evidence of rental growth in some of the prime logistics properties. In the retail market, trading densities gained momentum with MSCI recording a 9.8% year-on-year improvement in annualized trading densities in the second quarter of the year. While footfall improved during the period, but struggled to reach 2019 levels. The office sector saw a marginal improvement according to Sapoa's Q3 data, with vacancies having declined by 30 basis points in the period to 16.4%, with the largest improvement in prime office buildings as the flight to quality drove occupancy rates in this segment. Despite signs of recovery in some of the listed companies during this reporting period, with relatively strong balance sheets and stabilizing asset valuations, we are cautious of the macro headwinds and remain conservative in our short to medium term forecasts. For the quarter ended September 2022, the Momentum Real Growth Property Fund drew back by 5.23%, underperforming the OP benchmark by 1.16%. The underperformance during this quarter was driven by our overweight position in Sirius and underweight position in high prop. Sirius published a trading update at the end of the quarter, noting continued favorable sector dynamics, both in the UK and Germany. Strong rental growth, particularly in the UK, as well as potential to unlock further value through CapEx projects. We are of the view that the weak returns we have seen in this particular counter are not a reflection of the operational strength of the business, but rather a function of the macroeconomic headwinds in the UK and Germany, driving bond yields higher in these jurisdictions. Given the correlation between the long-term domestic bond yields and listed property capital returns, global inflation and movements in bond yields is likely to be a near-term driver of local property capital returns. However, we remain fundamentalists at heart and continue to favor property companies with strong real estate fundamentals. We continue to adhere to our investment strategy of buying good businesses at attractive valuations and holding them in the portfolio for the long term. Thank you.